Mm-hmm. Our next presenter is Der- Derek Belair, the founder and CEO of Augment. Uh, as a CEO co-founder, Derek leads the vision, strategy, growth of Augment. Prior to founding Augment, Derek was the vice president of marketing at SolarWinds, where he led the digital marketing strategy for the company's cloud division. Derek joined SolarWinds through the acquisition of Enable Technologies, a company he helped build and sell to SolarWinds in 2013. Derek has been working in the channel in senior leadership role for over 20 years, has been through the IPO process and several acquisitions. Uh, take it away, Derek. Thanks, guys. Uh, like everybody else has said, thank you for having us. This is a great format. Um, yeah, so a little bit about Augment. I'm going to try to keep this presentation quite uh, educational to start, and I'll plug some of our products and programs near the end. So. Uh, What is Augment? What do we do? Well, very simply, we provide a complete Microsoft security platform for MSPs. I mean, it's that simple. We're not trying to make it complicated. It's a full-featured, multi-tenant platform. Uh, We've got about 1,150, I think 54 as of this morning, MSPs using the platform in about 24 countries, about 1.8 million licenses in the field. Um, again, you know, I started this company with Gavin Garbett, my business partner. Uh, we were both founders of, uh, of Enable, went through the entire process. Um, and I'm not ashamed to say this was an idea that we had, you know, I would say probably near the end of Enable, beginning of SolarWinds. Uh, we're based in Ottawa, Canada, and like a lot of vendors on this call, we take security incredibly seriously. We're SOC 2 Type 2 organization ourselves, and uh, we're really here to live and breathe security. So let's talk a little bit about uh, Microsoft and who cares about Microsoft security. Well, the reality is uh, for most MSPs on this call, your customers should care and probably do care about Microsoft. And and reality is the numbers don't lie, right? 92% of of small, mid-sized businesses call Microsoft their day-to-day. It's the center of their universe, right? It's where they host all of their information, all of their emails, sensitive documents, you know, they share files. It's at the heart of most of these SMBs operations. Uh, we know, you know, from doing this a long time, that over 85% of the cyber attacks target small and mid-sized businesses. And that makes sense because there's way more small and mid-sized businesses than there are Fortune 500. Uh, what's staggering to me when I look at these stats is according to Microsoft, there's more than 89% of Microsoft accounts don't have even basic MFA enabled. It sounds crazy when you talk to MSPs because it's the first thing you should be doing. But the reality is there's so many customers that just don't have MFA at its very basic enabled. And when you talk to Microsoft, they'll tell you that if MFA was enabled, you know, even that little piece, it would have stopped a lot of these cyber attacks. And unfortunately for all of us, or maybe fortunately, if you're in the monetization of cybersecurity, the amount of ransomware increases is raising year over year. Now, why should you care as an MSP? Well, like a lot of the people on this call, you know, there's a lot of regulatory compliance and and legislations in place, things like the FTC guidelines that are making this a top priority for you and your customers. Uh, A lot of times, you know, the customer, the end customer expects that you're taking care of their Microsoft environment, unless you've had that exact conversation with them to say, hey, guys, unless you sign up to our Microsoft cybersecurity service, we're not protecting you. Unless you've had that discussion, a lot of the customers will expect that you are taking care of them. We also feel that, you know, delivering Microsoft security services is, is great for competitive differentiation. The good news for all of us is that it's highly profitable, right? It's a service that you can deliver quite easily to your customer and and generate quite a bit of profit. It's a great way to win new customers. And the reality is protecting the security of your customers, it's good for business, right? Whether or not you're personally responsible or liable for it, when a customer gets breached, you know, they will look to you as their trusted business advisor, their trusted technology advisor to help them out. Now, one of the funny things, when we started this business, we dealt with a bunch of these ethical hackers to really try to understand how easy or difficult is it to, to, to penetrate Microsoft. And really what we discovered is that there's an entire ecosystem, an entire economy that is dedicated to breaching M365. You know, these actors, these bad actors, they don't surgically go after one specific company in one small town. It's a, it's a spray and pray of hundreds of thousands of companies And it's not a matter of when, it's a matter of if. And and what was really funny is this ethical hacker, when we started talking to him, he's like, you know, anybody can do this. You spend a couple of dollars, you get about a thousand uh, user ID and passwords from a a breached uh, site. Chances are a lot of people use the same user ID and password for work as they do for signing up to all sorts of things online. You basically download a script online, you basically load in the user ID and passwords, and you see which one you can actually get into that doesn't require MFA. 
once you've got that, then as a, as a hacker, you can basically decide that you're going to go further and actually get in and do the, the dirty business yourself. Or you post a job on a job site and you do a hacker for hire, you pay for a ransomware kit. All it takes is there's no money down. All it takes is you need to have a Bitcoin account. You need to give the user ID and a password and you share the profits. And the profits can be 70, 30 to you all the way down to 50, 50 if it's a difficult hack. So hacking into Microsoft is super, super simple. And so the punchline of all of this is Microsoft 365 is, is the most critical application for most of the end customers, all of your customers as MSPs, that most of them use Microsoft. Microsoft's one of the most targeted application in the world. Uh, and attacking Microsoft is easier than you think. And, and what's really interesting to me is that even Microsoft states that basic security hygiene. So we're talking MFA, we're talking about, you know, making sure the right users have the right uh, level of license, the right administration capabilities. If you do basic security hygiene for you and your customers, you have a chance of reducing uh, tax by 98%. So let's talk a little bit about Augment. What do we do? Well, very simple. We like to follow a bit of the NIST framework. So the first thing we do with our platform is we help you audit. Audit Microsoft MFA, audit policies and securities and configuration, and really help you get a good understanding of how is the customer configured? How are your customer or your prospect configured from a Microsoft perspective? Then you basically start doing the work to protect. So you're protecting the users, you're protecting the environment, and you're doing all that from a single pane of glass. So again, you don't need to log in portal by portal to get this job done. It's nice and simple. And then you detect the Microsoft alerts and the changes in the baseline. So you audit, you do the work, and then you continuously detect to see if what the changes you've made have actually made a change. This is what the uh, product looks like from an audit, protect, detect. So again, beautiful product, all integrated, all offered in one bundle. This is a little bit of some shameless self pr promotion of what people are saying on the site. So again, if you remember anything from us, it's very attractive pricing, including a freemium offer. So you can get started with us for free. We've got a complete solution. We've got go-to-market product and we're SOC 2 Type 2 certified. So if you're interested in learning more, I'd say scan the QR code, get started with us for free, or send me an email directly. And if you're interested in learning more, why don't you join the, um, the, uh, the breakout session and we can show you a little bit about what the product looks like. Thanks, guys, for your time, and I really appreciate it. Excellent. Thanks, Derek.